what's up? What's new? Yep, I'm totally filming in this shirt again because I love it. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today, I'm going to show you my Kindle TBR. Now, I've been thinking of ways to do this because, let's be honest, people watch TBRs or people watch, like, hauls and everything to see the pretty covers. Don't even lie to me. I know you're looking at me being like, no, Monica, actually, I watch them because I want to see what's new out there. No, we watch them for the pretty covers, okay? At least I watch them for the pretty covers. The problem is, Kindles are black and white, and the covers are not really that cute when you show them like this in black and white. So, what I have decided to do is, because I hate myself and editing, this is going to be fun, is I'm going to read to you what Kindle books I have to haul. Not to, not to haul, not what Kindle, no more hauls. What Kindle books I have already on my Kindle that I have bought or that I have um, leased or whatever it is that you do or and like borrowed from Kindle Unlimited and I'm gonna post here a pretty picture for you to see the pretty cover because that's what we're here for the pretty cover let's get this started because there's like 50 books here I'm not gonna read out by the way the books that I have already read because that's not the point of a TBR I'm gonna go in order of when I got them so the first one that I have here is Witch Fire by James Clements, which I, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was a shame buy. Okay, the first time I heard this book, I was in high school. And one of my like really good friends from high school really loved this series and she was like, please read it. Oh my God, I love it. And then she let me borrow the book and I never gave it back and it was her favorite series and I don't remember what happened I think we just got put in different classes and I tried to read like the first page and I thought oh my god this book sucks and I lost the book and I am the most terrible human being so I actually bought this book out of shame and I'm gonna read it because I owe it to my friend whose name I can't even remember because I've tried to find her on Facebook to apologize because I'm that kind of person but anyway that's the whole story of Witch Fire by James Clement. I feel bad about it. I'm going to read it. I promise. Then we have The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that right. Yes, Wilkie Collins. Um, this is being called like the first detective novel or the, no, the first murder mystery. I don't know. It's a classic and Emmy Reads recommended it. And basically if Emmy Reads recommends reading, I don't know, the dictionary, I'll probably read it. And in that same vein, we have The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. I was gonna, what's he gonna say, Anton? Who's Anton? I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you what this is about. You know what this is about. Phantom, opera, love, sadness, very bad movie, very good musical. Then I have Empire of the Sand by Tasha Suri. And I bought this book because Thoughts on Tomes was like, hey yo, you all need to get on this train and read this book because it's got my favorite quote ever. So it was $1.99 and I bought it. And I have no idea what it's about. This is gonna be basically what you get from me from now on. I have no freaking idea what anything's about. <laughs> Remember, I don't read synopsis. I like to go into books blind. Listen, I'm gonna, uh, the next book I have, I'm gonna have to read the, the names of the authors because I have really in, like crazy good long-term memory, but my short-term memory is like a goldfish. I don't remember anything. So I'm just gonna tell you the title. Watch, look at the pretty cover here. Ignore the man behind the curtain and if this is this is how you lose the time war by Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone. This has been doing the rounds on YouTube. It's about well, like nobody knows nobody knows how to explain this is about. This is about two women falling in love, and they're like time travelers, and um, and, and they're, it's told through through letters, and apparently it's beautiful and and wonderful and. I, 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 again, do you guys know I teach English as a second language? I, I'm, I'm scared my boss is gonna watch these videos and just fire me because I can't talk. All right, then we have The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. And I got this because 
Who was it? Murphy? Murphy Nap Napier? I believe that's how you say your name. I'm so sorry if it's not. But she said it's amazing. She actually made a whole video saying it was amazing. So what did I do? I went and bought it. I don't even like fantasy. And I bought this book. I'm impressionable. Oh, and then we have what I believe is going to be one of the two books here that is going to be a total guilty pleasure of mine. And I got this from Whitney, from Whitney Reads. I think that's her channel name. You know her because, I mean, if you're watching me, you know Whitney. But um, I love her. She's my, like, oh. every time she posts a video, she makes me feel so happy. And I don't mean that, like, in the creepiest way possible. But anyway, I bought Shatter Me by Tara Maffey. I think that this is about a girl that touches people and they die, which is totally not Rogue from X-Men. But, you know, I'm gonna read it one day. <laughs> then we have Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I believe that's how you say his name. And again, this was another book to buy. It was Emily Fox. She said it was amazing and I trust her judgment, even though we actually don't like the same book, so I don't know. But this book sounds amazing, even though I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> Why? Why am I like this? But I bought it and I plan to read it. And I and you guys know I love science fiction, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this book. Pretty cover. I'm gonna have so much fun inserting all these covers into this video. And then we have, I'm sorry I keep looking down. It's just that I really have to read the author names because if not I get, like it's really hard for me, okay? So then we have, the Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. And I saw this movie when I was a kid. And I actually saw this movie. Listen, my parents were like taking me and my sister to buy furniture. And it was like pre-IKEA. So this was like maybe Rooms to Go or one of those other ones that totally went broke after IKEA. But we were buying furniture and I was tired of walking around with my parents. And they had this on the TV. And I felt mind fucked and it was amazing and the, i've heard that the book is equally as awesome so i bought it and i plan to read it one day I, I'm, I'm surprised at how much fantasy there is on here because i don't read i say i don't read fantasy i totally read fantasy it's just that i don't read as much fantasy as other people all right then i have all systems read by martha wells this is science fiction apparently it, it i started to read this a while ago, I started it, it in audiobook, but I wasn't feeling it in audiobook. And it totally gave me iRobot vibes. So, yeah. Really excited to get to it. I love science fiction so much. Oh, guys, this next book. Get ready, because I'm about to fangirl. I've got Crimson Peak. And who wrote this? I have no idea who wrote this. Who wrote it? I know that Guillermo del Toro was the one that directed the movie. But while this looks, let me tell you. Crimson Peak. Totally underrated movie. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I think the problem with this movie is that it was kind of like the, the whole marketing campaign. I actually studied that marketing campaign for um, when I was in, in school. But it was made out to be like this horror movie and it's actually a gothic romance and that's why it didn't do good in the cinema. But this movie, if you understand that this is a gothic romance and go into it thinking that, girl, I can't, I can't even, it's so beautiful, I love it. But I'm still trying to figure out who wrote it, hang on. So this is a novelization of the movie, by the way. This, it's not like the book came first and the movie, no, no. This is a novelization of the movie and I love the movie so much that I'm totally gonna read this. And it was written by uh, Nancy Holder. That movie's amazing. If you're here for book recommendations but take away something from this video is watch freaking Crimson Peak. You're gonna love it. I love how long this video is getting. Why can't I make short videos? Oh, I didn't realize that I did have an Ursula K. Le Guin. Oh, I have A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. And I've been hearing a lot about Ursula K. Le Guin lately. And I actually have another book by her on my Kindle and on my physical TBR. Because, listen, they were both two euros. And I was like, so four euros for both of them. And I can read it now. And... It's a thing, so I have it here. And I actually picked this up because some YouTuber's brother read it and loved it and I was like, okay, so I guess I'll pick it up. And also, again, all of these books I always pick up because they're so discounted. Aw, it's my other cat. You've never seen my other cat. This is Sushi. 
No, she doesn't like to be held, but that was sushi. The next book I have here is Call of the Wild by Jack London. I have no idea what this book is about, but I've heard a lot. I was gonna curse again. I curse so much in real life. I even curse in class. <gasps> again, I hope my boss is not watching this. It's okay, I teach older, older people, like I teach adults, but anyway. Um, I, I saw the book, it was 50 cents, I bought it. Then I have Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. What is this book about? I don't know. I have no, I really don't know. <laughs> this is how I buy books. I'm pretty sure I knew at some point when I bought it, but I don't know anymore, so I'm sorry. Okay, this one I do know what it's about. This is Den Dennis Lehane's Shutter Island. Um, I saw the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's probably one of my favorite movies. And I bought the book that it's based on. <laughs> There's nothing else to say about that. <laughs> Hi, we're back. I kind of had to recharge my camera's battery. So it's, things look a little bit off. That's why, because my camera was being a nincompoop. That's right, I called it a nincompoop. So, where were we, babies? The next book I have is another nonfiction book because, you know, nonfiction is my thing now. I don't know if you noticed, but I have Summary of the Mosquito, Human History of Our Deadliest Predator by Timothy C. Weingard. Let me tell you, I come from the tropics. I was born in Venezuela, and mosquitoes are truly <laughs> the Earth's worst predator. Although I'm not reading this right now because, you know, mosquitoes are really bad for us because they bring diseases. And right now I don't really feel like reading anything about viruses or diseases or anything like that. But I do have it on my Kindle. Here is the cover, the pretty, pretty cover. Next. You guys remember that show on MTV? It was really, really bad. <laughs> Why do you even come to my channel? <laughs> I don't know. I apologize profusely. And then we have another author whose name's whose names, whose name I'm gonna mispronounce. I'm so sorry, I don't speak Chinese, but I'm gonna do my best. And this is Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang. And I'm actually reading this because I'm doing the book to movie blind date thing. And this is the story which Arrival was based off of. So really looking forward to reading this. Give me all the sci-fi. <laughs> that was really, that was really enthusiastic. Then we have Silverwood by Emily Tesh. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this was a cover buy. And then I read the synopsis. Yes, I love enchanted forest stories. So, there you go. I'm gonna get to this one day, eventually. One day, far, far away. I have so many books on here. That's the thing about the Kindle. Because physically, when you buy the books, you see how many books you have and you're like, shit, I have a problem. But in here, it's just this little thing and it's got all these books and, and, and you gotta read them. All right, then we have The Black Tides of Heaven by Yi Yang. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Um, and this is basically, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I bought this because I wanted to read more from non-American authors. And I believe this is on Vo Owen Voices and I really, I saw the cover and it was beautiful and I don't remember the synopsis but I did read it, <laughs> I did read it. I promise, I read the synopsis and I was really into it so I bought it. Again, also the price. The price, ta the price tag is number one for me. I am so cheap, I am so cheap. I am actually buying a book this month that is 15 euros and I'm like crying inside but I really need it because I read it and I loved it and I wanna have the physical copy, so that's not this video. Then we have The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulka Bulgakov. This was another one that was recommended through booktube and I'll be honest, I bought the Kindle version but the version that I want is the version that you're seeing here and I'm gonna ask for it for my birthday if I like it when I read it in Kindle. If not, then I, I won't because why would I ask? for a book that I don't like for my birthday. Zero sense, that makes zero sense, so. And then we have a book that I'm so excited to get to, all of these books I'm excited to get to, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. Bought? That's not a word. I wouldn't have gotten them. Did you know that in Great Britain that you, we don't use, well we don't, no. In Great Britain, people don't use gotten, like that's only an American thing. 
I know that because I have to explain that to my students. But anyway, I got this book because Dark Academia Cafe, whom I love, adore, love all her videos. She's everything that I want to be and that I'm not. She's like cool and quiet and serious and mysterious and I'm like a big mess. But anyway, she read Bunny by Mara Awad and she loved it. And I am so excited to get to this because I love Dark Academia. And honestly, I'm glad that the character is female, which I, I don't have this book, but I'm planning on Gaiden. Hangs a Man by Shirley Jackson, not Shirley Temple, is another Dark Academia book with a woman in it as a main character. I'm here for it. So yeah, they say this book is really weird. I like weird books. I read Annihilation and enjoyed it. I don't know what about it I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it. I don't even know what the book is about, like I can't tell you, but I really liked it. And then I have another cover by, and it's The Vor by, who, who is this by? Brian Catling. And I read the synopsis and it says that it's dark and forest and kind of fairy tale and weird. And that's all I'm about, girl. So I bought it and also I really bought it on Kindle first because I love the cover, but I want to make sure that I like the book before I buy the physical copy because that's basically what I use my Kindle for, I guess. And then up next we have The Lovely War by Julie Berry. Need I say anything? This book has been making the rounds on YouTube. It's got Greek mythology. It's got war. It's got love. It's got Ares. It's got... What's her face? <laughs> Aphrodite. I'm sorry. I forgot the name in English. Um, um, this book is actually on my current TBR like of this month. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get to it. But just thought I'd mention it. Another book that is currently on my TBR right now. Like for this month. Ugh, I, I ran out of breath. For this month is Beastly Bones. A Jacoby story by William Ritter and this is the continuation of Jacoby which I already talked about in another another video but pretty cover want to read it it's in my TBR all right we're back and I hope that's the last time I have to change that battery <laughs> so let's get going the next book I have is Solaris by Stanislav Flem and I Actually, I'm halfway through this book because I'm reading it for my book to movie blind date thing of a bob. I always call it that, so I think that I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put that in the title. I really hope that I remember to put that in the title. But basically, astronaut planets trying to kill them. They're old loved ones that have died because of them come back. It's great. It's amazing. I recommend it. Then we have To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers, which. Uh, I love A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet so much, I can't even, but I'm trying to be fast before this thing starts flashing at me again because it's like kind of pissing me off. So, pretty cover. Look at it. It's cute. Then we have Anthony Horowitz's Magpie Murders, and I got this as a recommendation from Olivia at Olivia Books. Oh my gosh, I can't remember her, <laughs> her channel name ever, but I'll link it up in the cards and down in the description. And this sounds like an amazing murder mystery. Can't wait to get to it. But you know, I've got like a bajillion books to get to, so let's get going. Then I have Heartstopper by Alice Osman, and I was so excited to read this um, comic book. And yes, I did get it on my Kindle because it was super cheap and it's in black and white so who cares but um then i read that it was by alice osman and she wrote radio silence which i know a lot of people loved but i was not one of those people so now i'm kind of i'm kind of iffy about it i'm not not sure how how much i'm gonna like it but it's a it's a graphic novel i have it in my kindle so it fits with my tbr takedown thing i'm a bob that i'm doing thing i'm a bobs are a thing don't even <laughs> <laughs> Don't even come at me. All right, then we have Hold Back the Tide by Melinda Salisbury. I have no idea what this is about or why I bought it, but I did. I think I knew at the time, but I no longer know. So this is just the theme of this video. Then we have A Room of Wants Own by Virginia Woolf. I really want to read some Virginia Woolf, but I just never know where to start. And I did try to read The Lighthouse, and everybody and their mother and me doesn't like The Lighthouse, so I figured this would be better to read. And I have it here. Well, here, but you're seeing it here. 
And then I have Lock and Key, uh, Welcome to Lovecraft by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez, which is a graphic novel by Joe Hill. And I'm really excited because I really loved horns and I want to get to this book. I want to get to all of these books, clearly. I'm just, I can't. There's not enough time. There's not enough hours in the day and brain power or neurons in my head for me to get to them all at the same time. And then we have Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Everybody has been reading this lately and I want to be a part of the club even though I don't read fantasy. But people say this is really good. So, yep. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Then we have another one that I just want to get on the hype. I want to get on the train hype and that is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Um, I think this is about magic. <laughs> I, I used to know what these books were about, but I think I'm nervous because I'm scared my camera is going to start flashing again. But yeah, I've got Red Rising. And a lot of people compare this to... What is it that they compare it to? I think they compare it to The Final Empire. I don't know. But apparently it's really good and I want to read it. And then we have the other book on here, which total buy because guilty pleasure and that is obsidian by jennifer l armantrout which is about sexy aliens that are broody and moody and angsty and look the goth 15 year old girl in me really wants to read this book that's it that's that's the reason why i bought it and because oh my god i can't i believe i can't remember your channel name but i promise bb i will put it up in the cards and then below she read it and i was like girl I'm reading that too because that sounds like it'll make the emo girl in me happy. And then we have Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris and Beth June from Beth June actually hauled this and she hauled a bunch of B.A. Paris books and I was like, this looks amazing. And this is like, I believe this is about a husband and a wife and what happens behind closed doors. It's a thriller. And I love thrillers. Who doesn't love thrillers? Everybody loves thrillers lately. I think thriller is like the thing on booktube lately. Then we have the word for world is forest by Ursula K. Le Guin. I've been hearing so much about Ursula K. Le Guin and uh, that title alone, I'm going to be honest, it was a title by. It was a title by Connor from Reddit. He said it was one of his favorite books and he said that a paragraph from this book is one of his favorite quotes of all time, so I can't wait. And I actually got this in this ebook version and also the physical version. And then we have two, what are they called? <laughs> I'm like rushing. And then we have two nonfiction books. Ha! So we have first Uncrowned Queen, The Fateful Life of Margaret Beaufort. Tudor Matriarch by Nicola Talley. I love me some Tudor history, okay? I love it so hard. It, you, you don't even know how many random facts I've got about the Tudors and how many documentaries I've watched on them and the Windsors and everything. And yeah, okay, I love it. So moving on, I've got Royal Witches from Joan of Navarre to Elizabeth Woodville. And this is basically about women in power that were thought to be witches. Can we even? I love this already. And this was written by Gemma Holman. Holman, Holman, yeah. You can see it here, pretty cover, remember? Look over here, don't pay attention to me. Look at the pretty cover. And then we have, oh look, I have another one, which is a total like guilty pleasure. And that's called The Glass House, which I found because I was looking for The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. Isn't that it? Yeah, you know the book. Put it here. But anyway, this is The Glass House by Suki Fleet. Suki Fleet? Yeah, this looks to be a story about two boys who are in love, but one of them doesn't want to accept the fact that he's gay and the other one loves him unconditionally. And you know, sometimes you just really need a book like that. Like sometimes you just really need a book that is just about people falling in love. Okay? And, and that's what this book is. So. And the last book I have on my Kindle TBR is Between Sisters by Kristen Hanna. 
I love sister books because I have a sister and I love my sister and we actually have matching tattoos which were totally inspired by Frozen when we saw it in the movie theater and we cried. Let me show you the Frozen tattoo that I have. So see, we have two snowflakes, one for her and one for me. And I'll let you guess down below who you think I am, if I am Elsa or Anna. And I will tell you now, I am not who you think I am. <laughs> so that should give it away. Anyway, oh my goodness, I can't believe we got to the end of this here haul. Not haul, TBR of my Kindle books that I have to read. That I can't keep buying Kindle books no matter if they're 2 euros. Like I have to stop because remember TBR Takedown includes Kindle books. Thank you so much for sitting through that. <laughs> and if you're new, thank you so much for sitting through that again. And well guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me if you've read any of these books. Tell me if you're interested in any of these books. Tell me if you think I'm completely nuts because sometimes I think so. Honestly, and remember I post videos every Monday Wednesdays and Fridays and sometimes if I'm feeling a little saucy You get an extra video on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but never on Saturday or Sunday because your girl need to rest and without further ado I'm just gonna bid you adieu Bye guys <laughs>